Good morning, good morning. This is another nice early start. Very excited about today. Very light winds most of the day today, so uh, we're back at our favorite spots. Got the live bait already. We got here very, very, very early today, so um, came across the bar in almost pitch black, so that was a bit of an exciting thing. It's almost like a dream now. You're coming out, it was so dark. Um, it's like you're, you're sleeping and uh, sleepwalking or something, but. Uh, Got through the bar safely, it's only about a metre swell, so very, very, very easy. Plenty of bait around, there's three of us out, or four of us out today actually. We've got uh, Greg on a VX Limited Yamaha with his tubbies. We have Wade again with his uh, FX, I think it's 2013, something like that. FX with his new tubbies and uh, a friend of mine, Fred, who you've seen in some of the other videos, who's got a, a Sea-Doo Wake. Um, an old model that's going very strong and his own homemade tubby, so pretty exciting. On my right hand side here, your left, I have a nice live bait at the moment, the Yakka. He's having a good swim. I'm just looking for a stray fish uh, around at the moment, see what I can catch. Actually, we just come over a very big school or something, so I might just drop my live bait rig down again. It'd be really interesting if something goes off. And uh, Greg's over there catching live bait for one of the first time, so he's having a good time already. Uh, we'll catch up with him. Oh, I'm straight on here. Oop. Yep, straight on the bait. Uh, so let's get this on camera. Bit of rain coming up here today, so uh, car, we were expecting a pretty bad day. Look at that, there you go. Three out of four strings not bad well you might see me I've got this little hook here which is great for getting the bait off generally you just sort of hook it under and get them off without touching the bait works beautifully now there's plenty of bait around I'm hoping there might be a few stray predators looking at my livey over there birds are out looking at something I don't know whether there's any bust ups yet but a friend of mine Mick Mick Duncan caught a nice nice long tail here last week long tail tuna so you see what I'm doing I've actually I've actually dropped the bait into my into my footwell and I've got about I don't know three inches of water in there so when they drop they hit softly and then they um, they sort of swim around till I get a chance to scoop them in. So I've probably got more than enough live bait here. I'll just I'm just watching my rod tipping, hoping there'll be something grab that fish soon. Lots of bait, so we might have to move to um, you know just get away from all this bait and find a pretty. Oh, geez, there's a few on this time. Hey, Greg, have you got plenty? Huge patch over here. Huge <laughs> on the top and the bottom. So, is there any predators? Please, we need some snapper. We need some. Oh, look at that! There you go. That's a full string. Oh, awesome. I think I've got plenty of bait now. I might give up after this. Click them off. 
I trust that's a bit, uh, he's all right. It's a bit, uh, my trusty hook. <laughs> Better put these in. In, in. Oops, he's lucky he's away. Bit of a shame, that was my biggest one too. Oh, I might give up. We've got plenty of bait here, mate. If you run out, I've got a live one out just in case while we're doing it. So he's looking around, hopefully attracting something. We'll see what the others are doing and uh, we'll make a, make a call. I should just put some out, fish around here for a bit. Nothing happens, we'll head wide. There you go. Biggest problem with sabiki lures is that they um, do tend to tangle up and this is why I have one of these sabiki rods. Uh, on a jet ski, it's pretty hard to manage. The, you know, you know, most people wrap the weight around their reel, wrap the lead around their um, reel handle. Ooh, got a bit of a, something had a go at it. Um, but the problem is I find these snap off quite easily, so um, that's why I prefer my sabiki rig. The only problem with my sabiki rod is that in winter it jams and I can't get it apart, as you've probably seen in some of my other videos. So. Anyway, let's give it a go now. I've got slippery hands from handling fish. Oh, yep, yeah, it's stuck. Oh, jeez, I hate that. It's just the cold weather, I think. Somebody, somebody asked me, uh, what's the uh, sound to look like when there's bait? And this will probably give you a good idea if I can get the camera right. I'll just go to the main screen maybe and go uh, sonar, just to show you there. There we go, there's a good example of bait off the bottom there. Quite a bit. Smile for the camera! <laughs> Got a nice little sun behind you there too, Greg. How many hours you got on your VX now? Uh, 298. 298? Yeah. That's alright, that's going well. Yeah, what year is that? 2017. 2017, great. Awesome. Oh, this take the ratchet off oh. a bit of weight in it Or it's a shark or something. <laughs> I got something, but I'm worried it's a shark. It's got a bit of weight. 
Oh, it's coming up. Yep. I think. Well, that or a Kobe, I can't tell yet. Might be a Kobe. I think it's a cobia. I hope. Uh, it looks very sharky at the moment. <laughs> looks like a shark to me. Oh, it's a cobe. Yes. Uh, it's a decent size. I just don't, I haven't got him yet, so don't, <laughs> I haven't got it yet, don't, don't start celebrating yet, it's a big one. I got him. <laughs> Woo -hoo. Wow. There we go, guys. That is a nice big cobia. It's bleeding everywhere. Again. Feels like a snapper. Or a grassy something. Oh, it's got a bit of a size. Or a shark again. There's a few sharks around.
hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's a snapper. That's what I want. Got a bit of size. Oh, bit me off. Oh, I reckon that's a shark. Yeah, live. Yeah. Oh, no, he just got off. There you go. Just got off. Okay. Okay, that's a North Reef. You good? You ready to go, man? That's amazing. Look at them. They want to race. <laughs> Aren't they playful? Hello. Don't take that bait, please. <laughs> No, it's got a line on it. Yeah. Smart boys. I better take that because he might grab it. <laughs> I know. He wants me to throw him a pilcher, but it's against the law here, so I'm not going to do that. I might just sort of give him a bit of a. on again on the live bait it's got a reasonable size Bit fishy out here. <laughs> it's a bit fishy. Right. Hopefully it's not sharky. <laughs> what is it? Oh cod. It's a nice cod.
This is big. <laughs> I think it's, it's caught, I think. There's a lump here with bait on it. There's a lump here with bait on it. This is a cod, I think, mate. Just, if you just go up here a bit, there's a lump and you'll see the bait on it. Wow, this is a better day, isn't it? There's fish biting everywhere today. Plenty of bait, plenty of live bait, a lot of predators. Feels a bit cod, like a cod again. I don't know. It's fighting a bit like a cod. Yeah, I just had a bit of colour then, a glimpse of it. What is it? Big cod, big cod. <laughs> see if you can see it. Big cod. The live bait rig does it again. I might go around the back with this one. Don't want to lose this one. This is where the uh, tubbies come in handy. When you've got a big fish, you don't really need a, a net. You can just pull them up the back here. It's a decent one. There we go. Ooh. Something smells. I think he's got something in his mouth that stinks. <laughs> Say it's cod like again feels very similar to the last one uh, let's hope we got that on camera hey ah. yep another cod a little bit smaller this one I might have to let this one go I think yeah it's a bit too small I'd say that one's too small definitely so I might just try to treat him well and get him back in the water and whew, hopefully he'll uh, he'll survive. The barotrauma is not great. He stinks, he's got bad breath as well. Oh, he'll be right, he's swimming hard. A little bit barotraumaed. Let's see if we can get him swimming. Do you want to join us to the fad? It's the fish attracting device, yeah. Okay. And there's been some, there was some dollies in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, so keep your live bait. Uh, have you got plenty, or you've got only a couple? All right. Lovely. 
I just stuck something on the bottom in case there's cod hanging out. <laughs> Very quiet. So we uh, did the long haul out to the fad today and um, we haven't been to this fad before and I don't know if we'll be coming back. <laughs> There's not much fish here, that's for sure. It's very, very quiet. It, I guess it's you know not quite the right time of year anyway, but we did hear about some uh, dollies being caught, dolphin fish being caught um, at some other fads this week, so we thought we'd give it a go. We're, we've got to be about 20 kilometres offshore here too, 20, 25 kilometres. It's only, only 55 metres here, so there's not a lot of depth in it, but um, there's not a lot of current either, as you probably noticed, they're drifting here, it's um, drifting around slowly, so anyway, we're going to try it for another half an hour, and if, if not, we might just go back to the reef or go home, one of the two. I'll check back later if we catch anything. I can't see anything on the sounder really, can you? Save our live bait and put it on the bottom back there. There's some, there's some deeper marks on the way back. Just keep it like, I don't know, go back there. If we don't catch anything half an hour, go home. Today, you know, a couple of the big cobia and the two uh, two cod, the Mary cod, and the minimum size 45 centimeters. So it did, did well to get those two. One was uh, about 48, and the other one was about 55, 60 centimeters. So quite happy. But the uh, cobia was the best. The cobs was uh, about 1.2 meters. So that's very nice eating and a good day out. So thanks for joining me on the Jetfish Channel. I'll see you uh, again next time I'm around when I'm actually catching some fish, so catch you later.